Hi friends, it's Amanda. Welcome back for more Shimmers Paints Inspiration. Joining you today for an April Colour Kits layout. And oh, look at these gorgeous colours. Two brand new blue inklings, Someone Like Blue and Waves of Blue, as well as Shimmers Limoncello. Then we've got Colourings Don't Citron Me. Isn't that gorgeous? Cold as Ice Vibes, another lovely favourite of mine. Absolutely gorgeous. And Spritz Chickadee. So beautiful colours. Coordinating dots, of course. The You Are My Sunshine dots. This fabulous raindrop stencil. How cool is that? And these super sweet daisy buttons. So lots of gorgeousness. There's also a cut file included this month. But I um, created this before it was made. So I apologise that I, I'm using something different today. But that's okay. Coming straight in with Vibes Cold As Ice. And I'm just spritzing into place on my cardstock and you'll start to see it's revealing something underneath and I'm going to leave that for a moment and see if you can see what's happening. I'm coming in now with colourings I don't sit on me. Just adding those little pops of green. Gorgeous colour isn't it? Really really vibrant. Very yellowed green so and of course it's going to mix with the blue a little bit but that's okay because I sort of want these colours to meld together and of course green is made from blue anyway so it's going to be a lovely mixture of color there and I'm probably just yeah going to smush it in just a little bit and see if you can see what's happening underneath there so there's a bit of a resist technique going on however it's not a resist through drawing I don't know if you've ever had your cut file machine not cut properly for you like it's cut the design but not cut all the way through or perhaps you've purposely set it on a setting like that, like I have done today. So this is a geometric flowers cut file from Annette's Designs. My friend Annette makes these amazing cut files. And I, yeah, I wanted to see if the resist technique would work. So I purposely set the setting so that the blade wouldn't cut through the paper. And yeah, I'm just spritzing over it now with Spritz Chickadee. And as it dries, you start to see the what would have been the cut file design coming through so I'm just trying to highlight the sections where I would like certain colors and um, points of interest and it was a little bit hard to think of that because it is quite difficult to see you know I know on the camera it's hard to see it so um, yeah but basically it's a geometric um, diamond type um, wreath and it's got these gorgeous florals on it as well and I thought it'd be really fun to play with this and come up with something so look it doesn't look like much at the moment but bear with me <laughs> I have to be honest and say I wasn't entirely convinced myself when I started this it was a test angry and I thought you know I'll stick with it and see how it turns out and I'm actually really glad I do so have a look at what how it turns out in a moment but yeah so it's dry now you can sort of see the outline of where that cut file is but the great thing is because yeah you can't see a lot of it I thought it'd be really cool it'd be kind of like um um you know when people do the um no lines coloring with stamps um similar type effect <laughs> no lines painting perhaps <laughs> I don't know what we'd call that but going to use these gorgeous colors now so I've got the two new inklings which are exclusive to this month's kit so we've got someone like blue that I'm spritzing now and then waves of blue below and these colors are just divine both inklings exquisite colors and then I'm going to start with some limoncello shimmers while those two new colors um, soak up a bit of that water and do their magic and I'm just coming in and it's, it is a little bit hard to see with the limoncello particularly but where I've got the, the yellow is actually where the gorgeous floral blooms are located. And the more I paint throughout this process the more you'll start to see this layout come to life. So it doesn't look like a lot at the moment but it is coming I promise. So using the lines on the cut file it makes it look like I can paint really straight for a change. Um, it's fantastic I love this it's such a cool finish. Um, but coming in and following the literally the grid lines on the cut file they're showing me where to paint so it's going to look very fancy but it really isn't <laughs> it's a really good cool trick so um here's that waves of blue inklings it's the lighter one of the two and i'm using that to be the highlight berries and the smaller leaf sections in the florals um it's quite a um, it's almost got a purple or silver tone to it as well, um, quite different from the other blue which is definitely a dominant and rich mid blue. This is really soft and light and it's actually really really pretty actually. It's 
yeah, I I love inklings at the but you know, they're one of my favorites. That there's so much sheen on them and they're just yeah, they're gorgeous colours. So feeling very spoiled to have these ones. Just coming in with a second coat though, because as it starts to dry, things start to disappear again. So you'll see me come through and do more coats. While that one's drying though, I'm coming in with some Don't Citron Me colourings to highlight the leaves. And now you can see it's starting to come to life now. You can start to get the the shape of what I'm doing and what's happening here. Um, very, very cool though. What a, what a fun technique to try and, and one that's not tricky. So if you're, you're not confident in your drawing skills or perhaps or you, you feel nervous about drawing, this is a really good cheat. <laughs> I feel like it, it took the hard work out because I could have sat and done it by hand, but this made it so quick and easy. So yeah, really fun technique to try with your cutting machine. Of course, if you don't have one, well, you can just paint by hand anyway. <laughs> there we go. Look at that colors are gorgeous so just coming in now really yeah doing that second layer of the um limoncello shimmers and oh it's so pretty isn't it it's very spring very very spring oh look at that look at the sheen absolutely gorgeous and as much as i love it because it's on cheaper cardstock because my cameo particularly likes nasty cheap cardstock it um is warped quite a lot and so I've decided that I'm actually going to cut it out yeah there we go and play with it as a whole separate piece now so there's my photograph and I'm thinking yeah thinking of using the raindrop stencil and combining the cold as ice with some texture paste and just traveling that down the left hand side of the page so normally I, I might use um pattern paper to trim the edge of my page but I'm going to use the stencil with the raindrops instead and it's going to be very soft and subtle yeah look at that and that's before it dries so you can see how soft and subtle those raindrops are going to be but it's just that little bit that little hint of texture and interest and I think that'll be really really cool and just outlining where my cut file is going to sit and coming in with lots of cold of ice splatters and some more of the someone like blue because this blue is just divine and well we need a little more interest don't we so layering my cut file over that lovely splattery raindrop background and yeah look I love how that looks already it's very very pretty you can see I've got some daisy buttons in place I'm thinking of adding in all of the you are my sunshine dots but before I do any more I'm going to come in and foam mount the back of that cut file which isn't a cut file but is a cut file <laughs> And um, I've grabbed um, some note cards from, I think it's the March Hip Kits um, Pocket Life cards. Um, they're definitely some from the Hip Kit Club there. And um, lots and lots of the gorgeous Bloom collection from Paige Evans because I think that ties in lovely with this whole spring theme and just the colours working lovely. And yeah, look, it's just really pretty. So working on that I do I did need lots of the blue though because yeah it's definitely my signature color and perfect for this particular page so there we go look at that that's very pretty I'm going to foam mount that as well just for that extra texture and lift and dimension and popping in those dots so we've got the cloud one we've got the hurricanes or the sunshine with a chance of a hurricane or something like that it's very cute and then the you are my sunshine and then adding in yeah, I'm going to add in that sun there and, and I've got the umbrella and I'm really going to play with that notion of, you know, rainy days and happy sunshine days and, um, of course, new beginnings and fresh starts and all that sort of spring feel. Um, but at the moment, just looking through all these embellishments and seeing what I've got that ties in really well with this page. Oh, look at that. That's a cute sticker and I love that. Yeah, definitely having that there. And I'm going to foam mount it. That's gorgeous because it balances the other one. And we'll tuck the umbrella underneath. And lots more florals because you can never have too many florals. Isn't this gorgeous? i loving it. Loving it. Loving it. And more umbrellas. And just, ah, look at this. So pretty. And if you told me I was just going to use green, blue and yellow, I would have gone, hardly. <laughs> I'm sure to use another accent colour there. But... It actually works really well for spring pages and it's so yeah it's just warm and inviting and it's it's really gorgeous it's fresh and fun and these daisy buttons are divine I'm using them I'm actually using all of them because 
they're too pretty not to they're just yeah they're gorgeous so I've scattered them on and around my cut file and look at that it's looking amazing and just going to add a few more stickers there's my title shine and yeah look a few little hearts I think we need them and I play with the idea of adding in this gorgeous sentiment but even though the colors are beautiful it just didn't quite fit so decided against that but then yeah I had all these fantastic dots left from a last month and there's little enamel spots that we have just started to introduce through the kit and I thought I would use up some more of them so they're from last month so they were from the March color kit and just using the yellow ones just as a few more scatters around my page and look there you go simple beautiful creating with the gorgeous april color kits oh my heart just divine lots of gorgeous close-ups coming for you thanks so much for liking subscribing and all that jazz and have yourself a wonderful happy arty days